Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what exactly is the difference between an and and an or conjunction statement? Well, um, when we're dealing with compound inequalities, it's very important for us to be able to understand, are we dealing with a and compound inequality or an or compound inequality? Because that's going to help us determine how our graph is going to look. Are we going to be including both the values or one or the other or both of them? And I'd say, hey, that's a kind of an odd statement here. So when we're talking about and, when we're talking about the solution with an and compound inequality, we want to have the solution that is including in both of our inequalities. That means both the solutions have to be true when we're dealing with an and compound inequality. However, when we're dealing with an or compound inequality, it can be one or the other or both inequalities. I don't know why I put an e at the end of that. So when we're dealing with compound inequalities, right, we have like two inequalities. Basically, what we're looking at is one inequality can be true, the other inequality can be true, or both of, them, both of them can be true at those values, where an and inequality is only the inequality, the graph is only going to be where both of the inequalities are true. And the statement that I always like to state is, you know, um, is just kind of dealing with this in our, in our English language. So when I talk to my students about uh, coming in for open house, I'll say, um, let's say I was going to give extra credit if uh, your you and your parents are coming up for open house. So if I said the and extra credit assignment, I would say, all right, if you and your parent, just one parent, if you and your parent come up to open house, then I will give you extra credit. So if you just come up to open house, well, you're not with your parents, so you don't get extra credit. If your parent just comes up to open house, um, you do not get credit. It has to be you and your parent together coming up, and I will give you extra credit. However, if I give the or extra credit assignment, that just states if you or your parent come up, I will give you extra credit at open house. So that means if you come up to open house, I'll give you extra credit. If your parent comes up to um, open house, I'll give you extra credit. And if you and your parent both come up to, to open house, I will also give you extra credit. So or is what we call an inc inclusive statement. It includes one or the other or both. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic difference of your and and or statements. Thanks.